Maxine's Baby is a documentary that was released on Amazon and it is about Tyler Perry and it chronicles his life from his early childhood to all the childhood trauma he went through to how he got started with his plays, his movies, his shows and how he obtained all the success that he gained throughout his life. Now, I have a complicated relationship about how I feel about Tyler Perry. I think he is a great businessman. He's one of the most humble people out in Hollywood right now. I am a fan of his success and what he has done to get to that success. And as far as his work goes, I mean, he's made movies I've loved. He's made movies I've liked. He's made movies I did not like. And he's made movies I just downright despise. I haven't seen all his shows, but I have seen his earlier shows, which... I did like at a point, House of Pain being probably the best sitcom he's ever made. But overall, I felt his plays and shows are better than his movies at times. And my two favorite movies of his are The Family That Prays and Why Did I Get Married? The Family That Prays, in my opinion, being his best film. And with this documentary, I absolutely love it because it definitely brought a lot of things in perspective for me. Because, like I said, I have issues with some of his work, but I love him as a businessman and I love all the success he's obtained. And in this documentary, you get to, they get to pull the curtain behind him and see the man behind the wig and dress, <laughs> Medea. And it was just fun seeing his beginnings because I do know about how Tyler Perry got started. He was homeless, living out in his car. Then his first play was a bomb, but then he started, then more people started showing out for it. And then he started doing more plays and then he got movie deals and TV deals and all that. I was very much aware with it, but before that was all the pain that he had to go through. He went through a lot of childhood trauma, particularly with his dad. He has an estranged relationship with his dad. And even him today, he tries to be the best man, the best husband, the best father he can be for the sake of his son. He does not want to repeat the mistakes of his father. In fact, he was Emmett Perry Jr., but now he changed his name to Tyler because he didn't want any relation to his father, who is a senior. But some other things that were put into perspective for me is, hey, like I said, no matter how you feel about his work, he was able to tap into an audience, an audience that was underheard at the time. In fact, there's this quote by Tyler Perry that he said years ago that I thought summed it up perfectly is that he said Hollywood is finally realizing that people who go to church like to go to the movies. And Tyler Perry, he understood that perfectly. And even how he deals with criticism, he's just like, like all the criticism that he gets for his movies to him, that is nothing compared to what he had to go through. That is nothing compared to all the trauma that he had to go through. And that's how he deals with criticism at times. One positive thing that did come from Tyler Perry's relationship with his father is Tyler Perry gained his work ethic. And, and in this documentary, I thought he explained excellently about like how, A, our, our parents, they did have a story before they brought us into this world. And sometimes we like to take the good things from our parents, such as his father's work ethic. And he has applied his father's work ethic into his productions. And so all the 50 million scripts that Tyler Perry comes up with, A, no matter how you feel about it, hey, that's his work ethic, and I can't fault him for that. He has excellent work ethic. I mentioned earlier about his son, but this documentary also goes into his family life. You know, I mentioned his son, I mentioned his father, but the title of this documentary is called Maxine's Baby. Maxine is the middle name of his mother who passed away years ago. And it, and it talks about how his mother was probably his biggest supporter. And even though at times she wasn't as supportive, she was appreciative towards the tail end of her life and saw her son's vision. One moment during this documentary that almost moved me to tears was the opening of Tyler Perry's first studio. And he dedicated a soundstage to Sidney Portier. And when Sidney Portier, he pulled down the curtain and it saw Sidney Portier's soundstage. He came down and hugged Oprah Winfrey and Oprah asked him, what are you thinking right now? And Sidney Portier says straight up, I was the only Negro at MGM Studios. And now, decades later, here I am. I got my own sound stage in front of all these beautiful, excellent black people. And he had Tyler Perry to thank for that. But then Tyler Perry shows that same respect back to Sidney Portier. And I just saw that. And I was just, God bless them both. Rest in peace, Sidney. If you're a fan of Tyler Perry, I highly recommend you watch it. It is great. Like I said, it puts a lot of things into perspective. It's definitely a heartwarming documentary about perseverance. I'm going to give Maxine's baby the hands up emoji because it is a masterpiece.